Welcome back. This is the second video in our magical mystery tour of Find My Past. Last time we showed you how hints work and how to grow your tree. In this video, we're going to show you how to search our vast collection of family history records to find the secrets that will unlock your past. You can see we've already found John's grandfather on his father's side, who was also a John Lennon, and his four siblings. Now we're going to find John's grandparents on his mother's side, Julia's parents. Hmm, there are no hints for Julia yet. If you find the same with one of your ancestors, don't worry. More hints will appear as you add more details. And to do that, we need to take a trip into the records. The best place to start is with births. Make sure you start with broader search queries and then narrow them down. So, for example, I can use the name variance option to include any Julies who might turn out to be our Julia. And you can use our search radius filter to widen your location. Top one looks like a hit, but if you aren't so lucky, you can refine your search here. OK, let's try our number one record. Call me a dreamer, but this looks like it must be Julia in the General Register Office Birth Index. To double check our facts and to see further details, we could order a birth certificate from the General Register Office. Remember to note the volume and page number from this transcript. You'll need them when ordering. For now, we can add this information to our tree. And we can see Julia's mother's maiden name, Millwood has been added. But there's still some detective work to do to find her parents' full names. Let's go back to the records and look for a marriage between Millwood and Stanley, probably around 1910, give or take 10 years either side. Is this it? Yes, it is. Julia's parents were Annie Millwood and George Ernest Stanley, who married in Liverpool in 1906. You'll notice Marriage Finder has brought up three potential spouses. That's not a hippie thing. It's because the Marriage Index doesn't list spouses. So Marriage Finder attempts to match those who married at the same time, in the same place, with the same volume and page numbers. What's this? It looks like John Lennon's great-grandfather was a musician too. Perhaps your past really can shape your future. We're not done yet. Because George and Annie married in 1906, we should find them in the 1911 census, so that's where we'll look now. In the modern period, a census of every household has been taken every 10 years, and they're brilliant for finding families living together, a snapshot in time. By adding a census to one of your family tree members, you could unlock all those who were living with them, so they're often the key to filling out whole new branches of your tree. We don't know when George and Annie were born yet, but we can pop in what we do know. Name, location, I'm going to guess Liverpool and the year 1911 for the census. From this we learn that Annie Stanley, née Millwood, was born in 1874 in Chester, and that Julia had two older siblings, Mary and Elizabeth. We'll add them to the tree now. But now we have a new mystery. Where is George? And why isn't he recorded as being in the household in the 1911 census? Together, we can work it out. You'll see how we solve this puzzle in the next video, and we'll show you how to access our military records and search our unique newspaper archive. See you then.